Welcome back to Chatter, everyone, here on this Thursday. We did get some breaking news here that President Trump did cancel the meeting with North Korean <coughs> leaders. Tim, if you want to sort of read the statement, then we'll, we'll get right into it. Right. So uh, in a letter that was dated today that came out just now, um, President Trump says, Dear Mr. Chairman, we greatly appreciate your time, patience, and effort to respect your recent negotiations and discussions relative to a summit long sought by both parties, which was scheduled to take place in June 12th in Singapore. Cheddar's own J.D. Durkin is standing by live right now in Washington, D.C. with the latest. J.D., take it away. Yeah, thanks a lot, Norton, Tim. That's right. This email just coming into the inbox via the White House press shop, which is frequently how a lot of these big announcements will be made in this official White House letterhead that indicates the president actively at this time here at Tim and Nora canceling this high-level diplomatic talk that was planned for June 12th in Singapore between President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un of North Korea. Reading from the letter uh, quickly now, President Donald Trump indicating this, quote, I was very much looking forward to being there with you, he says to Kim Jong-un. He continues, quote, sadly, based on the tremendous anger and open hostility displayed in your most recent statement. I feel it is inappropriate at this time to have this long planned meeting. Therefore, please let this letter serve to represent that the Singapore summit for the good of both parties, but to the detriment of the world, will not take place. The commander in chief going on to indicate throughout this uh, very lengthy one page letter here, guys, uh, that he does hope at some point to sit down with the North Korean leader. And of course, all this coming just about a week and a half or so after North Korea unexpectedly and abruptly canceled high level diplomatic diplomatic talks with their neighbors to the south, South Korea, as a result of ongoing military operations in the region shared between South Korea and the United States. The North Korean government then effectively threatened to cancel the Singapore summit with President Donald Trump, and that is when we saw a significant uptick with harsh rhetoric. Since that time, President Donald Trump has expressed skepticism from time to time, indicating that perhaps the summit in Singapore largely would not happen, and we saw similar skepticism on the part of the North Koreans. And there were intermediaries like South Korea trying to make this uh, summit in Singapore a reality. That has not stopped North Korean government officials from uh, upping their own harsh rhetoric just a few days ago, referring to United States Vice President Mike Pence as a, quote, political dummy. President Donald Trump has also indicated here, guys, that perhaps it was the May 8th summit between Chinese President Xi Jinping and North Korea's Kim Jong-un that largely threw uh, a lot of uh, cold water on the possibility of the summit becoming a reality. The president uh, himself here in the White House indicating earlier this week uh, perhaps the North Koreans walked away from that summit with a different tone. But regardless, President Donald Trump making it clear on this morning that this uh, highly anticipated meeting in Singapore, Nora and Tim, will not be happening.